Now, Tresh, you used to be in a relationship with Pepper from Salt and Pepper. Now, I remember in some interviews, she claimed that, that you were really physically abusive towards her throughout the relationship. And she had a point where she told me and different people that once she told the book and the publishers, she really didn't even read the whole book before it came out. And what happened was they juiced up the stories and everything else. So all of that, once you get into a different, that's another part of this industry and everything else. You got to know exactly when you go, when you touch on certain issues, you got to make sure everything is actual factual or once somebody writes something, people going to believe first what they read, not what the truth is, because by the time the truth comes out, it's too long for people. They want to know what the word is right then, and then they run with it, and we know the game. Now, how did it affect you when news like that came out? I mean, you never want to hear any news that's going to put you under a bad spotlight or make you demonize you or make you look one way or the other. You know, we all have fought our demons and done things that we weren't proud of in life and relationships and everything else. Um, but when certain things are just taken and you're just being attacked and when certain things have no merit, it's like, it's just, it's disappointing to see how far people will go to run with stories just from it being at a story. I mean, did you got, did you and Pepper talk after those stories came out? Yeah. Like I said, we spoke and what was said was, it wasn't no proofreading of that book. Once she gives information, they ran and did whatever they wanted to do. So, I mean, that's the story I got, and that's I'm, I'm going to stay with it. You know, it happened. It's in the past, and, you know, hopefully everyone will see me for my track record, how I am and what I do, even from shows like Couples Therapy that's coming out that is more than just a couple's type of relationship rehab. It's like getting to know you and instead of pointing your fingers in relationships or as life in the general, you know how to blame yourself and man up to what you are doing or contributing negative to your relationship. What advice would you give other celebrity couples who are, who are trying to make it work and having, you know, the, the spotlight, you know, the bigger spotlight with social media really shining on them? I would I would tell them... Um, Get professional, someone professional to talk to y'all about your relationship. It's like, you know, a lot of times you'll have friends or people that's not professional or, or, or like in that realm of really knowing what they're talking about to tell you about your relationship when you need somebody professional in there. If you could go out, if you could afford it to really put you in check, put your partner in check and put your relationship, everything on the table so you know how to fix it. Because if everybody could fix their relationship, it would be no therapist out there. It would be no need for them. And sometimes with egos or anything else, we get to the point where we could fix it. If we can't fix it, we need to let it go. I mean, a lot of things aren't just where you can fix it. So you got to reach out for the help that you need. I mean, it's, it's so hard in social media. It's like you may think something is the way it, it's printed or the way you know you see it in pictures but it's really not and I you know it's been a it's it's been a big reality check for me I've had to realize you know everything that I see out there even though you know I may see a picture of Tretch and he's you know looking at a phone with a lady a young lady next to him and then you know the caption is Tretch is getting her digits that's something that, you know, in actuality, it was like, oh, you know, we took a picture. We were looking at the picture. You know, you have to block everything out of your relationship. Everybody, advice, you know, nobody knows him more. I know him. I know I can't really get advice from other people about him. So you have to block everything out of your relationship. And I think more people need to take advice because if you look at everyone getting, breaking up, getting together and just, you know, it, it's just, it's just too much. You know, I, I just, I believe in love. I believe in relationships. I believe in giving people, you know, second chances. And that's what couples therapy, you look deep down into who you are, how you were raised, what makes you do so many things that you do. And a lot of people don't do enough of that. As soon as they do one thing wrong, it's over. That's it. And it shouldn't be like that. And sometimes, you know, with us, therapy helped us, you know, because we both had issues. And we, you know, we had to figure out, wow, how, where's this coming from? The first few years were like fairy tale. We didn't really argue. And then like when we hit our seventh year, it's like we can't even be in the same room together. What is this? What's going on? What is this about? So 
you know, definitely do not be afraid of therapy and shut all of that social media, friends, family, everybody out of your relationship. There was a picture that came out with Chingy and, a, you know, a young lady. Um, you know, it was kind of like a picture like in a club, you know, someone just asked, you know, a fan takes a photo. Uh, after that picture came out, the, the lady in the photo said that she's actually a transsexual and that her and Chingy had an ongoing relationship for like a year or so. A year ago, we did an interview with her and she admitted that the whole thing was a lie and she just used it in order to, to get publicity. Are there types of problems like this with, you know, fans taking pictures and, and you know, coming up with whole stories and so forth, you know, putting a strain on the relationship? I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I mean, it, it's a combination of so many different things. Like when you turn on the television every day or you see the TMZs and you're seeing all these couples and, and the dudes just running out there and, and, and all over the place. And, you know, it, it starts... It makes someone that's not in the industry look at their partner that's in the industry. Are you one of these people that I'm going to end up hearing about? Or is, is, is this the scenario or situation that you're in? You know, so every time somebody else comes up and it's like it's a story about somebody getting caught out there or whatever else, you feel like it's you getting blamed for that shit, too. Because <laughs> it's like if you in that industry, that's what you signed up for and you should know that's what they do. Well, everybody don't do that. I mean, everybody had their time where they had their rock star life and everything else. And the majority of a lot of folks that I know that have been in the industry for a while, they not partying every night. We don't do what we was doing 20 years ago. You know, it was fun when we were young and in our young 20s and, you know, all this money and new and didn't know how to act. But it's like once you get older, you have a different level of maturity and just not trying to be out there like that. You don't have the energy to keep up and just really be out there like that. So, I mean, of course, it, it's, it's upsetting when, and you could get set up at any time. You see how many shows it is, and I don't know what, Maury or, yo, is this a guy or is this a girl? It's like, you as, as a cool dude like I am, I take a picture with all any of my fans, you know what I mean? But somebody that's going to play like they're a woman and they're not, and then say stuff about you, that could destroy your whole career, especially when you're in hip hop. Like you could last in a lot of things, but you really can't have that card on you without getting shut down in hip hop.